everybody, Mystery Girl here. Hi, welcome back to the monthly podcast of Roundtable Gaming. Today we have Super. Hi. We have Ian. Hello. We have Nax. It's too early in the morning for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Trelumbo today. Woo! Yay! I'm not wearing any pants in this video. Oh gosh, <laughs> you need, <laughs> need to know that. Anyway, uh, it, it's, it's, called, it's called everything to do with a with a, a YouTube gamer. Yeah, I sincerely hope that YouTube gamers wear pants. Them not wearing trousers is not a problem, but I hope they're wearing pants at least. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, anyway, today, so what we talked about last month, right now we're getting into what we're gonna, what I call the gaming season. Is when all these games are starting to come out, which is next month in September. So our we're gonna be talking about it's some of still, them. It's still July. It's still, yeah. <laughs> well, when we're recording this, this is July, but when I'm when I upload this, it's August. On Monday. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. I usually do it on Mondays. So uh, anyway, and it's going to be in September, and uh, that's gonna come on pretty pretty quickly, <laughs> considering how time flies. So, let's get started with the PlayStation games. We have to have different lists? No. Damn it, seriously? No, we're not. Oh, no, 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 no. Like we're just going to talk about it. We're just going to talk about it. We're not going to be doing any list. Oh, I'm just, okay. I'm, I'm just saying PlayStation because we're gonna, just going to be talking about their games. Oh. oh. So, at E3, apparently, yeah. I never watched the conference, but... The conference from PlayStation was one of the best at E3. Yeah, it was. Me, me and Griff did a podcast on E3, so uh, about E3, so yeah. And I will link that in the description below. And um, yeah, and, and what really surprised me was that how much people were willing to actually watch more of the conferences, <laughs> especially. Yeah. You, you had to be willing to watch some of them because some of them were utterly boring. Yeah, I watched the so, so watched so the Nintendo's Fallout outside, one outside and of, I was like, I'm out. I'm Zelda. out. I'm out, dude. This was too boring. Is that, or was it specifically Fallout? Now, apparently, um, there are some games I do know that are coming out this year and there are also some I have never played before. Well, how about we how about we just talk about g games that are coming like games we're excited for in the future, not and not just like in in the next month or so. Well, that, that's the game. whole point. What was that <laughs> noise? It's, it sounded like a platypus. Did <laughs> the crap? Oh. Uh, <laughs> gosh. Okay, so bad. let's first talk about um. Watch Dogs 2. Like, right now, I'm streaming Watch Dogs. Uh, and I do plan I to get two. I've actually I mean, played I mean, the original Watch Dogs on Xbox, believe it or not. And, um, I, I honestly thought it was actually a pretty good game. Like, I never actually managed to beat it. The story was kind of lost on me. But, I mean, it overall was a pretty cool game. I'm I, still I playing it. Those, I'm like, playing it to completion. I, mean, I mostly I mean, it, played, like, those side games. Like, the one where you were in the spider tank. I really liked that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, I with with Watch Dogs, I think that um, that it, while it was def definitely a, a a good game, and there were a lot of things they could have expanded on with it, uh, like the story, they they didn't really flesh out a lot of the characters they introduced in this, throughout the story. So I, I feel like if they had done that, it would have been a much more engaging game. And I and the I think they will in the second one. Because I think what they were trying to do was trying to more get into the hacking part of it. Maybe. Oh, I, I, I guess, yeah. That, I guess that makes sense, but still it's... The story to me is intriguing, really, but... Really, it's, it's, just, it's just, are you fast enough to click the button while you're getting chased by cops? I know, that was the hardest part. For, that's the hardest part for me so far. Like, timing is everything. Timing is always everything. Um, and I think it also shows, like, the pros and, like, what happens when you do this. Like... It just yeah. leads a whole spiral down. But for, I do for... I do plan on getting it, just not right. I'm not going to pre-order it right away. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
Like for me, the first game was actually just like, meh. it was just like a decent game. I didn't even think it was a good one. But the second one does seem promising, like from what I've seen from the trailer and stuff and what they showed us. And it oh, seems yeah. like it has like improved a lot and has changed something. So I think there's some hope there for it to be. There is actually game. plenty of hope. I am like, and, I'm and, seeing it's a whole new city, a whole isn't new it character. Set in San Francisco as well. It's in San Francisco. This time. Oh, does it does it mean you can run over hipsters because it's done on <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That's where your mind if, goes there. If you can there. do that, it makes the game for me. <laughs> Probably, Running but over I think hipsters. it's I think this is oh, no, about hipster a corrupt politician a and a corrupt city. I <laughs> uh, I like the concept that they're going for this time. It's a new city, a new character, a whole new mission of hacking. Hopefully, they fix some of the mechanics that. They didn't really fix in Watch Dogs. Hmm. What I what I'm interested to see with this one is, um, from from what I've from what I understand of it, the the story is following uh, a character in DeadSec. Yeah. And that 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 particular group was not really elaborated on. It wasn't really fleshed out in the first game. So I'm interested interested to see the dynamics that that's going to um, create in the game. I'm interested too because. Yeah, Dissect was first introduced in the first one, but they weren't as elaborated, and hopefully in the second one it's a lot better. And what I really hate is the controls of different cars. Like, there will be some cars I can't really... I suck at driving. I admit that. In the game, I suck at driving. Don't play Grand Theft Auto, then. No, I'm not gonna well, play that game. Well, 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 Grand Theft Auto has, like, different controls for different cars, but they feel natural, though, to me. Mm-hmm. I like the way it moves. All right. I like the mission in GTA where you had that, like, spy car. Mm. Okay, oh, so yeah. apparently... Apparently I'm, people... I'm, I'm, the, eject bu- the eject button was the best. Oh, Sorry, my gosh. I might even it's do okay. a video on, on, the, uh, on, on the game, then, like, a special video on uh, Watch Dogs 2 if I ever... If I do get it. Like, I'll make a checklist of, like, uh, pedestrians in the game and, like, take pictures <laughs> of, like, all the hipsters... And then make a check mark and run it. all of them over. Like, that oh, video I'll be waiting for, Mister. Now, okay. Uh, <laughs> so apparently there were a lot of people excited for the God, the God of War, the new one. Yes. Um, I have never played God of War, so, and I people might... thought it, that they're going to be completely transpiring it to a whole different yeah. era. Whole it's kind of confusing. It's kind of confusing because it there were like. Uh, they were in Greek mythology, and now they're going to Norse mythology somehow. Does that mean, like, that in the universe that they live in, that, like, all the mythologies are true at the same time? I, I don't, don't know. I, I mean, I mean um, if, if you think about it, uh, I know it's a bad example, but I, I know um, the per- Percy Jackson franchise, they, they've uh, and, like, all the Rick Riordan uh, books, they've basically brought in Greek, Roman, and Egyptian all into, like, one universe. So. Okay. Also, so basically, so basically they're trying to switch it up. Lands or something like that might be yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean yeah. it, it could it could be interesting, but the 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 fear I have is that like from from what I can see is it's just another God, God of War game, but they've just tacked on uh, the the sun onto it to add like a a little of the of Last of Us into it, basically. Yeah. Well, I think it's gonna have more of a story to it kind of thing because yeah. like didn't I think, you guys say like he killed all his sons in his games or no uh, no i think he killed all of the myth mythological gods, the, creatures he, he yeah god went on a god killing quest basically mm-hmm. uh, all right so on to the next one uh horizon zero dawn which uh, one was that i look <laughs> horizon is uh Coming out in February, but that does look promising. Um, I never. Which game is the Horizon? It's Horizon the one with the dog. robotic dinosaurs. Yeah. Well, dinosaurs. Oh, 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 that one. With with the robotics, like uh, weird creatures. Okay. I, that, I think that, that I looks think interesting. A, it does look interesting. It does look promising yeah. to me, and it does look like a game I could get into. I mean. It, it had like a variety of, of things that that made it feel like different games. It felt like something of uh, what did I say? Like there were some some mechanics that that harkened to like uh, Dragon Age and some that made me think about Skyrim and, and so on and so on. There were like different games. That I, I think that 
I think it's a mixture of Fallout, Dragon Age, Skyrim, and a couple other of the of the ones we're known for the crafting in the open world. But I do like the concept of humans battling these robotic type of dinosaurs. I honestly I am uh, I I don't know if you guys have heard of the game I'm going to mention but um I look at this game I look at what I see so far and all I can think of is is um Xenoverse mm. on 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 the uh, Nintendo systems. Ooh. Like with uh like with Shulk from uh from the new Super Smash Brothers. That that that's his game. Um oh, I wow. look at this game I look at this game and, and all I see is Xenoverse. Xenoverse. Oh gosh. Oh wait, is it Xenoverse or or am I thinking Dragon Ball Dragon Ball You're Xenoverse? Thinking Dragon Ball Z, You're sure thinking Dragon Ball. Xenoblade is what I'm thinking. Sorry. Xenoblade, yeah. Xenoblade, yeah. I thought that was the fuck. I'm stupid, um, sorry. All right, so moving on. Anyone can I actually play... say one? Yes, super. You can say something. All right, let me get the elephant out of the room. No Man's Sky. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Um, no. no please. I've heard of the game every now and then, but I'm. Someone tell me what it's all about, basically. Uh, it's, it's basically it's like an Minecraft. exploration game. The game is massive. Like you could spend like a I'm not sure how much time, a lot of time, and you could not run into a single person. Like the planets are just like I've from what I've it's heard and what I've Minecraft. seen, the, it's just like you could try and meet up with your friend, but it might take a long time because of just how big the game is. Ah, that makes sense. That's from what I've read and what, what from I've heard. Open world adventure game. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know about that though because I've heard that people start at the same place in in the universe, but then they can like spread out. So I think you can basically meet up with people, but like only in the beginning. And if you then want to meet up, it would probably become almost impossible. Yeah, and um, it, it okay. No Man's Sky. I have heard it every now and then. People are excited about it. Some people are not. I mean. I don't know about it. I will have to look into it. But oh, anyone we'll play see. the Resident Evil uh, no. trailer? The no, whole demo. The teaser gameplay? Yes. Yes. No, pretty I, good. Don't, I, don't, I don't have a PlayStation, so I didn't. Oh, yeah. I I don't have a PlayStation 4. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have a... The, the, uh, the PS3. So, yeah. so yes, Cholombo, yes. what did you think of it? Well, uh, the first thing is I also saw the trailer first. And that trailer just made me like, wait, is this a new Silent Hill game? Or is this, like, another game? And then like in the end, they said Resident Evil Seven. It was like, what? <laughs> then then when I played the games, like the, the demo, it was still kind of. If you just get the one of like one of the endings where you just exit through the door, it still doesn't feel like a Resident Evil game. But if you get like the 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 other ending that you have like upstairs, it does feel a bit more like a Resident Evil game. So I think it's probably will have the right feel in the end because they're tr it seems like they're trying something new because Resident Evil 6 was a shit fest it was like too much of a like action game rather than yeah. a Resident Evil game well. yeah understatement of the century I, on that one I but, actually but played it, it and uploaded on my channel and I do admit it was one of the it most scary blood. things in the world <laughs> really really uh, you're, you're I'm right. very I'm easily scared, scared okay I'm very easily, easily scared Okay. Cool. All right, uh, qu question. Question before we begin. Uh, uh, continue. First of all, uh, are we just talking about exclusives, or are we talking about like games that you can find on the system? I think we're talking both. Okay. Um, there are some that are exclusive, some are not. Like No Man's Sky, you can get on the PC. I know that. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. So there's there's two there's two games I want to bring up that that uh, are on the PlayStation. Uh, the first one would probably be The Last Guardian, the one that got delayed mm -hmm. and then finally got, is getting released. Oh, yeah. I think I saw that. It looked gorgeous. Why is it getting I, released? I, it's getting released October 25th, from the looks of it at the moment. At the moment, at until they delay it again? Oh, it's very possible they might <laughs> delay it again, but, I like, delayed. who knows? Like, I know the reason why Zelda was delayed was because they were trying to map up the map, yeah. and that was it. Yeah. Um, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a Wii U, so I can't, so I can't play Actually, it yet. Actually, it's anyway. gonna be it's gonna be also on the NX apparently. Okay, well, I might have to get an NX then. Uh, but, the um, NX is exciting. But um, the other game I wanted to bring up was uh, actually actually I <laughs> I I made the mistake of screwing up earlier because of this. Uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse two. What? Oh yeah. They're making a two already? Yes. 
Yeah, it's coming what? out on October 25th as well. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm I'm probably I'm probably gonna get it because uh, it's on, gonna be on the PC and I'm probably gonna play it and it's probably gonna make my computer implode. But <laughs> I, I'm not that much of a Dragon Ball fan, like especially when it comes to like anime because I think there's a lot yeah, of yeah, the anime kind of made way, me way bored. Better shit more. Out there. Sorry oh, for the people anime. who do like it. I'm um, sorry, but I don't really like it. No, uh, okay. I don't know. I I, I All mean. Right. I'll I'll probably play it on my channel just because it fits in with the anime theme of my, of my channel, so it works. But um, but like, I and I've always enjoyed dra the Dragon Ball franchise, so I mean, whatever. It's just it's an old fallback for me. Yeah. It's nostalgia. Yeah. Can I just say something? What? Throughout all the gameplays I've seen of the new Resident Evil Seven teaser gameplay, haven't seen. Just hit my mic. Haven't seen anyone get the ending of upstairs because there's an ending where you get like a fuse for the stairs right i don't something know like that yeah uh, well you have to press the button and go upstairs mm -hmm. uh, then you get a phone call there's like two ways you can do this. like you could even if you want to if you uh look behind you and stuff and if you walk with your back against the wall because then the guy can't attack you like if you mm -hmm. do that you can even go upstairs, get the phone call, and then get the ending at the door. Which is crazy. Nice. Because I haven't yeah. seen anyone get that ending. It's just, just the thing they pointed out. Heck. Yeah, and so we're... And now Final Fantasy 15 that's coming out in November. Is, no, it's coming out in September. Yeah, I, I, I wait, Fantasy, that's one of the... The what? series that doesn't know the definition of the word final. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I want to play this game. I want to play this game. Oh, I don't geez. care. I want to play there, there's, on, there's only one problem when it comes to Final Fantasy after they started actually having uh, talked dialogue, and that is really, really bad English voice acting. And I think that's the, uh, I'd have to agree with you in that, considering I played Final Fantasy. The trailer and the demo sounded like it's still kind of shit. Like the, the, the they, English They'll probably work that way. No problem. I mean, it was a demo. It wasn't like it was the real one, right away. By the way, it was still the there's a, if there's an option to have uh, subtitles and uh, Japanese voice acting, I'm probably going to go for that. Well, Just to not have the It always it. sounds better with Japanese voice acting because it's a Japanese game. Yeah. True. But yeah, that's one of my most Bye. that's one of my most hyped games because I can't wait uh, to play it. Okay, <laughs> here, here's here's one we could talk about. Uh, Dishonored Two. Uh, Dishonored, I've never played it, and the dog came in my room. Roxy! Mark! Come here! Come here! It looked like it, <sighs> it was gonna Dorcas? be good, but then we, we also still... I feel like I should keep my mouth shut right now, because I know what I'm about to say, and it's not a good thing. Come here, you. <sighs> okay, and I don't think it's what any of you Lamba? think it is, so that's why I'm keeping my mouth shut. Is it about uh, eating you... a dog? Because Max did not... talk earlier. Okay, I don't control the animals, I swear. Alright, but uh, anyways, I... Troll, Wait, you were saying you something. A cat and a dog? Do they fight? Okay, Dishonored 2. I never played Dishonored. So, but Dishonored 2 does look good. I will admit that. Uh, yeah, but yeah, Troll, but you were, you were going to say something before before I super interrupted you there? Yeah, yeah no, I was, just, I was just saying, like, it looks good, but we still don't know much about it, like about how it's gonna play. That's true. Hi, good. Bear. Could still be oh, shit. It, it, it comes out in November, so that it, so we'll wait and see then. Um, we'll wait and yeah. see I mean, in I, November. I, okay. I mean, I, uh, okay. I haven't played Dishonored one either, but I've wanted to for a long time. Play um, it, and then cause... I'll see it because then it's like um, I can't. I don't know what Dishonored is really on. So that's all know. I can say about that. And then we have the, and, and then we have the Kingdom Hearts HD remake, which I don't mm. get why, but it's the 2.8. So, and there are some games on there I will play because I haven't played it on, I didn't have any of the systems at the time to play them. So I will be playing that. So I will be probably getting that one because I am a Kingdom Hearts fan. And also, I want to play some of the games they did add on to the... Is it going to be a literal remake, though, or is it going to be like Resident Evil 1, like, uh, where they changed the a game remaster? up? A remaster? 
Yeah, more. It's like a, a remaster. It's more of a. It's more of a remaster. While uh, we're all yeah. waiting for three. It's still yeah, in the, development, the, but it's. I, worse I never. I never got into Kingdom Hearts. I never played any of them, and I never I've got into the highest one. one. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm also not really that high, but I'm not one of the fanboys for like Kingdom Hearts myself. You know, I I am. I'm sorry, but I think oh, no, I think no, it's, no, you know, has to go. Yeah, I, I think it's wait, wait what? What is this uncle shitting on his lawn again? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, that's an inside joke. That is a, yeah. Um, that is okay. definitely an inside joke. One second, joke. I close the door so my family doesn't get in the area. Yeah. But um. Yeah, no, Raya's no. also afraid that her, that her uncle is going to come. <laughs> no, uh, I'm more afraid of my family coming on camera, and I hate being on camera, so. Okay. I, 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 always, I always edit my family out of out of it if they uh, Me too. walk in I or, or if they... I literally just uploaded uh, a video where my mom was the one playing the game. The amount of restraint I had was amazing. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I actually... I actually got to send a tweet out just to let people know, like, hey, the video for today might be late or it might not show up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if, well, yeah. if I would make a video with my mom, nobody would understand it because her English is shit. Mm. Well, okay, let's go on to... Um, apparently, Xbox didn't really have that many games coming out. Yeah, and you're uh, forgetting... A f I think you're forgetting a few PlayStation 4 games that are coming up. Okay, we'll elaborate what I'm forgetting. Uh, I think one of the games was called Days Gone or Days Past. I don't know. Oh, I, think, I think. Uh, was that was yeah. that the one made by uh, like the, the zombie uh... one? Yeah, the zombie one. It looked yes. really. Oh, like, oh yeah, they first, finally it, added a co-op. Yeah. Thought, I first thought I thought it was like oh another like generic zombie survival game, but when mm -hmm. they showed the hordes and like the horde mechanics and stuff that were happening there, it was like, wait, this game looks actually really cool. Yeah, it, it, it reminded of... me a lot of Left 4 Dead too, though. So that's what I'm worried about. Okay, yeah, I've never played Left 4 Dead, so it's, it's way different. Why not? Left 4 Dead is you. amazing. I... I don't have the money. Yeah, I don't have the money. And there's I earn no so money, good. good. Yeah. You're gonna get a <laughs> lot of achievements accidentally in that game. <laughs> and, butt plug. Yeah, yeah. And, and there's so. Did many somebody say butt plug. I said butt plug achievement. Yes, I did. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. Uh, no, I think so that what actually else are we an missing? achievement, so... What else are we missing? Um, there, there, was that, there was that game that was made by the um, the guy who, ca who uh, came Wait, off... Um, and, and we we happy few was that a, is it, that's a PC game isn't it or is it Xbox One? I think I think it's um I think it's PC it but I think it's also Xbox. I think it might yeah. hold on. Let me look it up. I, uh... Oh yeah, no Xbox One didn't have any exclusives. They had like all Xbox and PC. Yeah. So they yes. Had well, yeah, because they're doing that. Because they're doing that Windows to Xbox thingy. Yeah. yeah. On top of that, they okay. they talked about Xbox Jeez. One S, which I don't get. Like, is it an improvement to the Xbox no, One? No, no, it's it just a slim, just... it's just a smaller one, just a smaller one. It's just basically they, they, the same thing. It's just a okay, smaller so, uh... one, it's just basically a slim. So basically, yeah. it's an Xbox 1.5. Yeah, you, no, no, not yet. No, the, the 1.5 thing, like the the Xbox 1.5 thing might be coming in the future. Oh, They wow. haven't really announced it, but they said, like, hey, we're working on something, and it may be an improved version of our Xbox One. So that's basically what they said. But PS4 did announce like a PS4K, PS2, uh, 4.5 or whatever they're going to call I it. I think they it's a PlayStation 4.5 and, and I'm just like, uh, I just got my PS4. Do you want me to just sell my PS4 just to get that? I, I, I do I do like the, the other name though, like where they said PS4K. But the thing is like... Uh, they're basically like, the same thing. Yeah, but it, it's kind of stupid. People might be like, oh, then I can buy this and then blah, blah, blah. And, uh, or some people are talking about, wait, then I have to buy like a new PS4 because I want that one. Uh, but then again, th don't you need a new TV as well, most of the people? Because who really has a 4K television? I know most I of us have like HD quality, but not all of them are 4K, are done. they? Uh, no. any, anyways, uh, you, were, you were asking about We Happy Few. It's a PC and Xbox exclusive. Yeah. Oh, okay. That one Ooh, looks we cool as well. And the, cool. the demo is out, apparently. People were talking oh, about I, Yeah, we I, both I might, played it, I might I need to look that up, actually. I might need to look up the demo yeah, for We Happy just... Few, because holy shit, it looks good. 
Just look up Weird Al's video. I think he, he probably did a good job at it because it was really yeah. exciting. Yeah, yeah, he actually did. Sure. I don't want to look into that now. Um, it does look creepy, but it does look kind of good. I love those I, games, though. I just, like, exactly, it looks yeah. like the, the way it's it looks. It's the same person who the likes all the Five Nights at Freddy's games. So. Look, ma'am. Five Nights at Freddy's is not that bad. Now, um, I do know wow. that Sister that's, Location that's, hold is up, hold coming up. out. Ooh, yes. Hold up, hold up, su super, super. On that note, uh, as someone who has played one of the games for his channel, I can say you're you're wrong. Some of the games are that bad. <laughs> Some I mean, of yeah, them. Yeah, not the entire franchise is isn't all good, but it, not all of that's, them are that's, bad. That's that's arguable, but I I mean it, it I'm, I'm, on still, I'm still gonna play sister. I'm gonna still gonna like play three sister location. Bad. Three was bad. For for me, for me for no, me for me FNAF still feels like something that is like kind of a fluke but like that worked out three times because somehow it got popular because it like the concept of the game of the game is so fucking simple that it could have been a mobile game mm -hmm. even if well, it was a mobile game a mobile i would have played it but it, it, you yeah. can get it on on mobile phones as well yeah yes but sister location looks creepy as heck I'm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna play that. I'm interested to see how they do that. Or I how might play he, uh, it. I'm Cop not sure. It, but... I have seen all the gameplay of the FNAF, except for FNAF World. FNAF World looks weird to me. Uh, did you see my Did you see my FNAF 4 playthrough? <laughs> I've I seen, seen all it. of them from everybody. So okay. You haven't seen mine, have you? I have seen yours a little bit. Do, okay, oh, never mind then. Okay, I should okay, play all the uh, games. Yeah. Uh, an another game it? I'm excited I'm excited for in the in the next uh in the near future is uh, Outlast Two. Outlast yeah. Two. Oh, I have yes. played a bit of Outlast. Mm -hmm. I have seen somebody also play Outlast, so I know Outlast through and through. It is what, the creepiest a, game in the world. And I, was there a looks demo or, or yeah, was there's, it just there's like... a demo out? There's a yeah, demo out, Mark but it's been mostly it to the most popular yeah, Mark YouTubers. played it, Pewds played it, uh, I think Jack played it. Jack did play it. I saw him oh, play yeah, it. Oh yeah, they're in the field, set. right? They're in a field? Yeah. Yes. They're it's a whole different. new concept, two new characters. Uh, no, ar arguably, hold on, hold on. That, that's, that's arguable because the character you play at play as in the demo technically gets uh, looks like he gets murdered at the end of the demo. Yeah. So it's very, it's very possible the player, you, the character you play as, is someone completely different, and well, then they just, to, they just made this demo to, they just made this demo to. they might, they might have just made these characters to, uh, show the concepts and show like the the settings, of of the, mm -hmm. the setting of the game, and uh, it could it could be very off, uh, it could be very likely that it could be a completely different character that we play as. We yeah. never, we never know until the game comes out. Now do we? True. And it does come out, I think, later this year. It's it, it says the initial release date is, it literally just says 2016. So it, it's it's possible it comes out this year, but we don't know when. December yeah, it's like the it's like the FNA, it's 11, like the FNAF 59. series, like the one day it showed up. It won. Wait, I just, uh, okay, done. What? Uh, yeah. so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, like, a lot of the games that are coming out, um, Xbox is more for the PC in the Xbox whole version thing, but not everybody has the powerful PCs, so how are they gonna uh, yeah. appeal to someone who has... Guy has a laptop. Yeah, like, not everybody has a powerful PC. Yeah, like, uh, the thing is, for the, like, it, there's a huge money gap there, if you want to buy an Xbox... It's even cheaper than a crap top, basically. Yeah. But if you want to get like a, a a decent gaming computer, well, you're paying like double of what a, a regular laptop would be. Oh yeah. Uh, fair. Well, I mean, I mean, though, the thing is, though, is like if you, if you spend the money and get and get like a good PC, that'll last you way longer than than like a, an Xbox because sooner or later they're just gonna come up with a new one. Oh uh, no, the, no no no! I don't know. The, like, PC, a, a the PC could last longer. You can also like it. A, Oh, still, it's not like a five five year throwaway product. Computer. Mm, yeah. Now let's well, talk yeah, about. I guess. Let's talk about Nintendo's new console that is coming out. The Wii U was a complete that, flop. Uh, kind of like the new Ghostbusters flop. Well, I mean, they, because of Super Mario Maker. 
Yeah, it's because they basically wanted to come up with a new generation. Like, hey, they were like, kind of running. Like, the like there were is, some they, games they I had, don't understand. What the like, we had is. GameCube and and PS2. That was basically the same generation when it comes to like PlayStation. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I think that's it. But then you had the Wii, which was basically at the. Yeah. The Wii was the... actually quite successful. They, I even remember having a Wii yeah. for two years. But then the, the Wii, Wii was was like at the uh, on the level of like the supposedly the PS4 and stuff. So that's kind of. Yeah, I think that what they're trying to do is get the NX, this new console, to try to meet with the competitors in some format. But still, I mean, the, I mean, the trying problem to be is, the is, is since yeah. they're so far. Since it's so late into the thing, they they need to be. It needs to be the start of a new generation of consoles. It needs to. Yeah. Be, it needs to be a new generation. This, this this is for them. Is the fucking time to get rid of the stupid Nintendo program to begin with and just allow people to monetize all of their games because people are not gonna give a shit about Nintendo in a few because they're doing stupid stuff. Oh, well, absolutely. To be to they, be they honest, need, that need, is true. They need commercial. They need people. They need people advertising their shit because people. Yeah, because Xbox people have and PlayStation. have stopped caring about Nintendo over the time, like about new stuff. What what people are doing now, like a lot of Nintendo fans are like, "Ooh, I want to buy an NES, or I want to buy an SNES, or I want to buy an N64." Not a lot of people are looking into their new products, like less people than than. They well, want. because the because the copyright is basically old. And they no, can't no, really... no, 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 you still can't play those games. Well, obviously, no, a Mario they... license is a Mario license, so the fact that they have Mario in there still makes it a different, like, if it, and copyright lasts a long time. Oh, it, la- yes. it lasts for, like, it lasts for a couple decades at least. Yeah, it's more like a, I think for music, there was, like, a 125-year period or something. Damn. I don't know about that, I don't know. Yeah, it's, and apparently it's... YouTubers who... If they want to do that, they have to pay a certain amount for leverage. It's like, what? Yeah, but I just don't uh, give a fuck about Nintendo in general too much. So I just like I mean, the older game still. If they want to get I, as successful as PlayStation and Xbox, they got to let the YouTubers do what they need to do. Yeah, but the only thing you can do and give them a big middle finger is use footage from a game and do a review. Because what are they going to do? Like, oh, you have used footage. It's a review, you stupid fuck. Read up on fair use. Yeah, seriously. Oh, but the, but the, that that's a topic for for another day because because fair, cause fair yes. use is <clears throat> is just in so the freaking toilet Let's not anyway. get into that because we would. Fair uh, use is a twirl. Like, like yeah. a, a lot of a lot of like companies are like bullies and they're like giving swirlies to fair use. Like go in the toilet now. <laughs> like shh. <laughs> that's what they're doing. I mean. I stream on my PlayStation and I have no problems. The music mm, well, probably, the, the, but everything else. Well, the thing, the, th- the thing is though, is is um, place like I may have, Sony I may and, and like their their games don't. All right, see ya. See ya. But um, the the uh, the the game the games on on PlayStation generally you won't you won't you won't see too many issues like even even on like the um, Xbox and a lot of PC stuff you won't see too many issues. It's um, it's Nintendo that causes that causes a lot of these issues, and that's though. I, though I will admit, I've I've had um before I deleted them, I had some issues with Capcom about um when when I tried to do Devil, Devil May Cry Four on my computer on my uh, channel. Really? They, they, yeah, they, yeah. They claimed cutscenes from the from the game. Oh God. Uh-huh. Yeah, I and then. Did. Well, I mean, I guess. Oh, I think my friend also got uh copyright strike or something like that Ooh. because he was oh uh it's just Ooh. another friend that's from like school i, I think i think it's, because... it's possibly really logically that that really logical that people could get uh, copyright strikes or third party strikes for uh devil may cry okay. because didn't they use like feature artists on the soundtrack but like they were like actual artists but they uh, made the soundtrack for the game not that they made like not that they had like songs from the artists but they had art they had artists making songs for them i not actually sure um it, it wasn't so much the mu- it wasn't the music claim it was literally capcom who claimed it and hmm. um and it was like um something along the it was like it was like an entire cutscene from the from the, like these videos i'm like oh 
I mean, they're not on my channel anymore. I got rid of them. Um, I, got th I think I had, I think I had a claim on a Bioshock video as well for like the snippet of, of like some old timey song that was in it or something. Oh, it's just like I, I sort of wandered by the by the yeah. where the song was playing and it just sort of got claimed. I'm like, oh, well then. Yeah, so that's a whole other topic. So I really want to talk about fair use and stuff because it's just no, yeah, I know, but that that's Ugh. another topic. That's another topic. Yeah. You might so. Uh, I might have one video about it at one point. Yeah. I think, I, think Onyx I do have a video where I talked about fair use, actually. Oh, yeah. Onyx Rizal, she has video, she has a Tumblr post on it, I think. Yeah. And other forums. So, predictions. Oh. What games do you guys want and which games will be really good that we've talked about today? Uh, Outlast 2. Outlast 2, so I know that. Outlast 2, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm thinking. At last two, yeah, that's that's uh, probably a given there. But also like No Man's Sky because I really like like games where you can just explore, move around and don't have to do too much where you don't have too much of a direction in what you need to do. Kind of like that's a, basically how I play Fallout most of the time. Like most of the Fallout games, I haven't given a, too much of a fuck about the story because I never really thought the stories were really that good in Fallout games. So most of the times I was just walking around, collecting stuff upgrading stuff, getting new things. And now with Fallout 4 where you have like the base building and stuff, I have been just doing more of that there, just exploring get and gathering shit and then building shit. Basically. Have you seen yeah. their new DLC though for Fallout 4? Yeah, it all looks really good, but I, I don't have like I, I'm saving up money right now for other stuff, so I'm not buying that many games in the future. That make that makes sense. Oh. Uh yeah. But I am okay, very yeah. excited uh, for Final Fantasy. I don't care what you guys say, but I am excited <laughs> for Final Fantasy 15. It does look good. I I am a Final uh, Fantasy fifth person, so don't. But I am. I'm yeah, actually like hoping franchise. that Watch Dogs 2 is better than its predecessor. Yeah, I do hope that um, Final Fantasy 15 is going to be better than some of the previous games. <laughs> Final Fantasy 13. Cough, cough. <laughs> I never played that game. Uh, I, kind of I, I played a 12, little bit. And it 12 sucked. was kind of still decent. And like, 12 was alright, but 13 10, was. 10, 10 was, was better than 10, too. Good. I'll give you that. For the person who actually. Uh, but I, I, I'm one of the few people that actually likes like uh, Final Fantasy VIII more than Final Fantasy VII. I never played Final Fantasy VII, so. I mm. never did, but there is that remake that is coming out. Eventually. Mm. Eventually, but not Somewhere. at this moment. <laughs> oh, I am. Jeez, I, 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 I meant to bring this up. I, for, I forgot. Uh, we didn't talk about Gears of War four. Oh god. Oh yeah. I've never I'm, played I'm, Gears of War. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not a fan of the series at all. Generally, so I'm not gonna say much uh, about it. I mean, I mean, it, it looks good. It, it, it's nice to see that mm. it's not the same characters this time. But it did like still look like on. a generic shooter to me, with like generic weird. Like the the mission that they showed, like had the stupid catapult thing, and I was like, "What's this? This just looks like weird filler stuff, just so you can have some target practice at shooting at those things in the sky." Because they showed like where you had to put something in like a catapult and then shoot it, and then that wasn't enough. You also had to shoot the stuff that you shot out of the catapult after that. It was like, okay, they're <laughs> trying to do some weird elaborate shit here. Really I mean, I mean, so basically, be to see throw what the story a bomb is like, and then but... shoot the bomb, so it blows up. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, it should be interesting to see to see it, but yeah. Um, anyways, the the ones I'm excited for, uh, Outlast Two is definitely one of them. Um, Dragon Outlast Ball Xenoverse Two. I will play Xenoverse Outlast Two I'm... because I have played Outlast One and I've seen all of Out Outlast, so it's pretty good. Uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, I'm excited for. Uh, same with The Last Guardian. I really want to. Uh, I want to see if I can convince my brother to get that so I can play it. <laughs> Does Outlast 2 even games. have like a decent release date yet, or? No. No, it's got nothing. It's got like 2016. That's it. It's really. But at least actually. it is coming out this year. I Unless hate when people do that. I hate I'm them. I'm excited in the future. I'm excited for the for the new Legend of Zelda game just because I'm a Legend of Zelda nerd. I mean, uh, I want to play it. My stepmom wants to play it. Because, yeah, because we're both Zelda fans. I I sure hope there is some vibrancy to the world though, because it looks quite dead now. 
and I oh, well, I, I, well, I mean, it's still in development, that, and they did push it back. So see, because it does have that feature where, where you can like discover things and roam around, and that's interesting. But at the end of the day, like every game that has exploration needs to have some kind of home location thing. Like yes. if it's a city where you can go to or something like that, you should have some set place where you can go because being like a lone wanderer with nowhere to go and if there's like no mm-hmm. life except for enemies. Uh, I mean, a- they only showed yeah, us a clip. I- it's not like the whole, it's gonna, that's going to be the whole game. We are not sure of it yet until we get to that point i mean i mean it's very possible that it's like a like a post-apocalyptic type thing it could be like a i hope type no. of zelda that that would destroy zelda zelda versus zombies no, well the not really because zelda was always about like uh discovering and, and roaming about but then well, yeah some of the games that they, they had to take into account the limitations of like the consoles that they were around so zelda. They well, it, 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 it would be nice to in the n64 era as well kind of if you look at it it's somewhat open world. Well, it was more for adventure and excitement than it was story wise. Yeah, I, I'm I'm excited to see it actually go back to the roots of why the Zelda game was the Zelda games were actually made, like uh, like explore, exploration and and um, like discovering new things type thing. Like the original Zelda game, uh, the the guy wanted to uh, uh, <clears throat> put in put into game form like. The way his childhood was, like exploring and like caves and forests and stuff like that. Yeah, and I and I think we're gonna get more of that in this one. I I do like this concept of you can finally cook for yourself. You can finally like do some of those elements like he never had like that before. Bad. No. Oh, okay, sorry. This is one, a kids' um, game, Max. What, what's still, what there are a lot Zelda of went, rated R? <laughs> <laughs> that would be Anyways, you're, watch. Saying, you're gonna say Trollamba? What was that? Did, did you did you mean Legend of Zelda goes uh, R yeah, like rated R or did you mean Zelda R. itself? Because you said Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> just anything in Zelda just goes rated R. Oh, oh gosh! Everything. Nah. On the, the internet spoils every. The internet on, is bad Donkey enough. Kong. We're not at the fire. <laughs> Gosh, Things get hairy when Donkey Kong shows up. Oh gosh! <laughs> and then uh, something I just found out is um, is the uh, the team that makes makes Dynasty Wars is making an Attack on Titan game for the PlayStation. Oh, that looks Ooh. that sounds so good. Oh gosh, please. <sighs> yeah, I was, I, I was just I was just online. I need to rewatch the series oh, now. Oh, uh, I think I think Barry's gonna be mad that she doesn't have a PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to save money to get one then. <laughs> How much is it? Like three hundred something dollars? Uh, it's a, it's a, depending on where you go. It's expensive. Oh. I paid like three fifty for mine, so I don't know. It's like a uh, well, four days of work basically thrown out the window <laughs> if you buy a PlayStation. Yeah. But it's worth it anyway. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, it depends on your country and how much taxes you have. So it could be two days of work or something. I don't have to worry about taxes. Quick taxes. I'm 14. Because <laughs> the future means fall. Like the, the I thing don't think that you I understand what these means by taxes. I, I, mean, like, taxes. Like I don't know taxes either. No, no, not sales taxes. I'm talking about taxes on your job, like on the money that you make. Mm, oh, income. okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, like. Oh. Like that. I actually got paid today. I got like seven hundred, like seven hundred fifty bucks out of that paycheck. Dang. Yeah, I, 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 I was overtaxed probably, so I'm probably gonna get money back at the end of the year. So. Woo! Money. money. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Roundtable Gaming. I want to thank all my special guests, including Super, who had to leave a little bit earlier. I'm special. Yeah. <laughs> so Chilumbo, thank you for thank you for coming on. That w- this is really great. Again, we do this once a month where we talk about games. We also talk about a bunch of stuff. What we should our next our topic problems. be next month? Our problem uh, therapy. Topic for next month. Uh, 
Ah, um, where are you? Want to go and see and see where it is at that time. <laughs> yeah, let's say, let's go. Let's you go can with see. With this one. You can you can make it, you can make the premise a question. Is Pokemon Go dead already? <laughs> oh, let's do that. <laughs> no, well, especially yeah. since supposedly in the next few months it's supposed to be releasing new new um new content into the game. So. I hope and so, I mean, otherwise, it it if, if they don't do that, it will be dead by September or something. Yeah. Oh, if if, if so. they don't release something soon, it's gonna, it's gonna have died. It's gonna have died. But yeah. Because some people have already caught them all by now. Without hacks. Yeah, really? Because really? but... oh. there's like, there's like uh, country That's exclusive, nice. like region exclusive ones, like, Tor like Tauros, for example, is only exclusive to, um, unless you hatch it from an egg, it's exclusive to North America. Uh, I think Kanga scans uh, uh, an exclusive to like Southern Asia and like the islands around there. Uh, Australia, I, I I think Australia. Uh, I'm not yeah. actually sure. It's it should be there. I don't know. I don't fucking. Did know. it have something in Europe then? Uh, what, what's what? Hold on. Am I the only one that hasn't played Pokemon Go like at all? No, oh, yes. I don't have a smartphone. So. Oh, I, okay. I I don't have data, but I still play it on my iPod. So I play it. I play it. It's, it's very tough to play. It is a very good game. <laughs> so I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you all later. Stay frosty. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Woo! There you go.